Hi, today I'll be showing uh, an example of a utility called iPhone Backup Analyzer to analyze uh, forensically a, a backup file from an iPhone created by iTunes. So I've already installed the, the utility on my Linux distribution and um, I will be analyzing one of my backup files that I created. So I've already installed it um, on my machine already. So with the command sudo dot main, it also uses a Python script, um, which launches a graphical user interface, which is really nice. Uh, I'm using the function d to tell it where exactly my backups are and as you can see here these are my my four backups that I that I created so instead of typing the whole thing let's go ahead and just rename copy insert it and we press enter and voila it opens it up. So, to get started, uh, as you can see here, the device data, it gives you the iPhone product type from which it came, the name, the device name that was on the iPhone, the last backup date that this file was created, the iTunes version that it used, the serial number of the phone as well, um, the IME I number, the I ICC ID, which is, these two are important. Um, because they identify the the phone itself from a uh, service provider perspective and the product version meaning the iOS version that it was running and the GUI, and the GUI, GUI ID and here um, is the backup button that it has from that backup file which you can manually um, navigate in especially in the root domain which is the libraries and As you can see, we don't have any much stuff here, but we are able to also do a, a text search throughout the whole file. That if we know some certain text messages or certain keywords that we want to search for, this utility is really useful for that as well. Also for the time stuff translation that we can do as well, and how to convert and label also the data, the database tables. So one of the cool things that I found on this one were the plugins. Specifically the SMS, the text messages. It's really, really useful. It gives you the exact timestamps and the recovered text messages that were on there um, the last time that they were there. So as you can see here, when it was when it was received, what date, everything so this is a really useful this is really useful information for um, a forensic analyst when encountered with uh, iPhone recovery or iPhone forensics so that's really neat also the call history this was great as well I found pretty useful artifacts the number which was the call was made the date that it was made or received, the duration of the call, and whether it was outgoing or incoming. And we have a whole list here, and it gives you exactly how many calls were found on, on the call history, and the, the total lifetime call duration, and the call history limit of everything. And it gives you the last call duration, incoming calls duration, and the outgoing calls duration, as you can see here. So that's pretty neat. Let's see what else we what else we can find in there. Mm. Mm. I don't know, as you can see here. Found some bookmarks. Bookmarks from OSU and all that's how that could also be useful as well. Cell location. 
This uses the GPS from the iPhone, uh, from the geolocator. Uh, currently, this didn't have it. Mm. Not there. And contacts. Mm. The numbers, everything. And also the Safari history. It also gives you the tab data from Safari as well, which um, websites were launched. So this is a pretty good overview of the utility. There's more to this utility I, that meets the eye. Um, this is just an overview of this tool, just for keepsake so well that about wraps it up for my video